Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's speaking of notes, since we've we, now we've definitely introduced where everybody stands on more things than one. <laughs> oh. Say that again. What is the stolen valor law? Ah, uh, yeah, this is an interesting little law they got. Um, it, it, it's going around the things. Basically, if you pretend to be a member of the armed forces, is particularly in reference to having uh, gotten medals that would be awarded to the armed forces individuals like purple hearts medals of honor things of so forth and you're doing this publicly uh, for personal gain you are subject to a stolen valor law I if I remember correctly it was passed in 2006 by Congress 2005, 2005. okay it will, and did it get and it got enacted the next year then Okay, so 2005. But basically, if you're doing this, you get fined, this on, and they, they do things to you. Um, the Somebody got held under this, and they paid their fines, and they know stuff, but now they're appealing it, saying, well, this is in violation of my First Amendment rights. I have the right to say I was in the armed forces even though I wasn't, and say I have a Medal of Honor even though I don't. Because that's my First Amendment right. I can say whatever I want to say. Who are you saying to? Is, uh, he's, he's trying to make a case for the Supreme Court. Well, did, wait, he said that he could say that. Well, who, who did he say it to that he got in trouble with? Did he say it to an employer or to... Uh, it was, I forget, it was, uh, I, I, I want to say it was like on a council board. It was an employment situation. He was using it for, basically, to get and maintain the job. Uh, uh, Zay, apparently you know the story I'm talking about here. Well, um, I agree with him. I think that he should be able to say that. It, it's, and, you know, if you're doing it for a government job, I don't know, because the government job has extra... Well, but where do you draw the line there, you know? It's okay. I, I, I would say that it's it's like uh, I'd say that they, they should have the right to fire him for lying, but I don't think that the government should get involved with something that um, they shouldn't because I mean I, you I, can say whatever. I agree. I think that you know that for this stuff, you know, people can brag and lie. I could say I'm rich and super successful at a bar or something. I don't see why I can't say it at a job. It's it's. It's still, you know, if they want to catch me on a lie, and they can probably find out if I don't have a Medal of Honor just through a simple Google search. You yeah. know, if they find it out, they fire me. That's fine. They fired me for lying. I should go to jail for it. There's things that you, there's things that there's reasons to not have the First Amendment on, like I'm going to kill you, stuff like that. This isn't one of them. Okay. So y'all are both of the agreement that this should be handled by the pre-existing fraud laws and so forth, and basically this law never should have become law in the first place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to play devil's advocate, since I've been put in that situation, um, okay. So here's here's what I'm talking about. Like, if if I if I say. I just want to clarify a little bit. If I say to get a job, oh yeah, I was in the army, I got a few medals, and they hire me for that, that's good. That's fine. And if they find out I lie, they fire me, but I can't get in any special trouble. However, if the company has special benefits for veterans, and I say that I was a veteran, that's lying and that's fraud. So that's a little bit different. That's actually a breach of contract, and I can get sued and possibly go to jail for that if I if I can't pay the lawsuit. But I don't think that this was that situation. So if uh, I, if Okay, I, if you're going on the TV and pretending to be a member of the armed forces or a former member of the armed forces with like Medal of Honor and so on and so forth. Some people aren't signing a contract with you. If, if you get special benefits for that or, I don't know, well, you know, news stations have this thing where they can't lie, but, you know... 
Well, that, that's journalism ethics, but that's, I, I, again, that's between them and their employer and what their employer will let them lie or not lie about. Uh, uh, I, I think it's kind of like um, pretending to be a doctor. I mean, you can pretend to be a doctor, but if you do any operations on anyone, right. then you, uh, then that should be a violation of law because you're not licensed. Exactly. See, I would agree with that, yeah. Say it all you want, you can brag about it, you can't use it in special benefits. And you pretty use it in those situations. Although I don't I don't know where anyone would say, you know, is there a veteran in there? Well, I, 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 okay, I I'm not necessarily disagreeing with y'all, and this is part of why I, I, I shoved this story in here, because it's, it's one of those, it's like, it seems really simple. It's like, well, clearly you have the First Amendment rights, it's not, which I, I can definitely see that argument. However, we have already created in the United States of America a very clear exception where we have defined, oh no, you don't have a First Amendment rights, and it's not the ones that you're thinking of, and I'm surprised nobody who's been talking about this story has brought this up, to my knowledge. But it's a very famous case, in fact, it, it is the case in the United States, where uh, it eventually got for a Supreme Court. Y'all know the one I'm talking about. Somebody basically, you can't yell fire in a movie theater. You know, you, um, it's like, well, wait, freedom of speech. I should have the right to panic as many people as I want. No, there, we've always had the idea that your freedoms end where you stop others from having those freedoms. Uh, 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 okay, and that is where you can you could if you wanted to. I'm not trying to do this. I'm just playing devil's advocate. You could make the argument there of somebody is pretending to be a member of the armed forces, so indirectly they're implying things. It, it, uh, let, okay, let's uh, let me for example. I am not a member of the armed forces. I do not have the Medal of Honor. I do not have the Purple Heart. If I were to come on here and, you know, stout all my political views, yada, yada, so on and so forth, you know, dress up like a Marine, I have to get in better shape to pull that off, but, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, I basically I, I perpetrated that fraud. Not only am I perpetrating fraud, not only in their civil thing, but indirectly, if I'm taking certain stances on certain things publicly, I am hurting any. I, I, I am hurting the reputation of anybody who does actually have that. It's one thing for somebody who actually has those credentials to be doing it. It's another thing altogether for me to be in the public eye, undermining their reputation. Uh, and I what don't, I don't think that it's. What is, what is it called? Libel? Where you do that? Uh, 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 li li libel or slander? Slan uh, libel is when it's in print. Slander is when it's... I don't I don't think that it fits into that at all. You have to be directly saying to the person. You can't. I can't just say, like, oh, um, so if I, call, if I say that someone's gay uh, and they're not, that could be slander. But if I say that I'm gay and that all gays like to burn babies, people can't sue me for saying, oh, hey, you can't say that about gay people. That makes people think bad of me. Oh, I'm yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have necessarily the... the well, I, I can say slander, but I could also get sued for it. But if I say it about myself, I could say whatever I want. And I don't think that that goes into... Saying fire in a crowded theater has a reason that you can't say it, and it's because people could get hurt. No one's going to get hurt from you saying that. If people get fooled, shame on them. Um. There's, there's. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, okay. Again, to play devil's advocate here, and I took. I said this is this, this is difficult for me to do because I, I tend to agree with both of y'all. I agree the pre-existing laws. However, to play devil's advocate, I could make a case for someone getting hurt. People currently serving in the military. We live in a globalized world today, in which if a pastor chooses to do something stupid, it directly affects people halfway around the world. Uh, and the same thing could be said for, you know, somebody pretending to be a member or a former member of the American Armed Forces speaking and acting as such, and then that flak is taken out overseas on actual
actual members of the American armed forces and, and Which part? You're saying, okay, go go back about ten, twelve seconds from when I first said that. Uh, uh, okay, I was basically saying we're in a global we're in a global world today, global media. Uh, we do live in a world where if I stood up here and pretended to be an actual member of the armed forces, speaking as a representative, or uh, somebody who had been in the armed forces and I did certain actions, it could be taken out on actual member of the armed forces. I mean, really, anything anybody does publicly can can be done that. But I uh, but it, it's different if you're claiming to be the armed forces or uh, former armed forces versus. You're, you're saying that that could be misconstrued as you're attacking a specific member. Or, or something else, yeah. It, it, it basically the the uh, the logic behind this law uh, was in certain circles, and this is why people want would want to pretend to be a member of the armed forces with distinctions and so on and so forth. It carries more weight. The law is not written to to pick to get guys trying to impress a chick at a bar. The law is written for people directly profiting off of it in the public eye. But as both of you have been pointing out, we already have fraud laws, we already have libel, we already have slander, we already have basically if you lie on your resume, that's a guaranteed reason to fire your ass if they want to. <laughs> no, that's actually law. Basically, they don't have to have a reason to fire you except, ah, uh, yeah, did you misspell your name on the resume? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> that is the law in the U.S., actually. It's if, if anything on that resume ain't accurate, it's a guaranteed excuse to fire you just because they feel like it. <laughs> also, um, I, I think whether or not um, it, it has that um, certain effect, it's still a violation of the First Amendment. I mean, making exceptions to something uh, or to something in our Constitution that we've been, you know, carrying for such a long time, and that our founding fathers told us to protect, is just not following what we were told and um, restricting the freedom. Well, we're not supposed to follow what we were told. It's a, well, I mean, it's a republic if we can keep it, and half of us didn't think we needed the Bill of Rights. So, you know, let's be honest here. We started from the get-go not th uh, thinking for ourselves, not so much doing what we were told. You know, I mean, I mean doing what we're told in terms of uh, keeping our rights. I, I, I tend to agree, uh, and um, it's it, it's 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 a divided thing. About you know about half the country is like, well, wait, wait, wait a minute, you know this ain't right. And the other half of the country is like, wait, wait a minute, that ain't right. I, I mean, I mean, you can make the same argument for a police state versus a free society. I mean, you can give up freedom for safety, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's a good thing. I mean, we can. We can install security cameras in every house and have people not commit as much crimes, but that's, I mean, it's not a good thing either way. That, that, you know what, if we ever do that, and I hope to God we never do, that would be a really interesting sociological experiment. How long can humans go without snapping with no privacy and ability to just be the crazy little people they are in, in their own time? <laughs> <laughs> to it. Say that again. I think we would adjust to it. I think that the government could do that. I think that. Uh, so that you, you you think the end result would be society would just lose its inhibitions and be okay with the peep show and everything else? Uh, except for uh, save a very small amount of people. Okay, but those very small amount of people, how long you figure before they just? I don't think the government could handle it. It'd be a revolution on, on its hands. Yeah, yeah, eventually.
eventually, it, 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 eventually, people do reach their limit and just snap. You know, our, our modern term for it is going postal. And, you know, it, it's it, it's never the thing you think. It, it's something stupid like they spill their oatmeal or they stub their toe or the tip of their pencil breaks and then they just, that was the last straw. You know, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's not that they're snapping at. It's all the other things they couldn't. It's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what, what do we want to move on to? So we've got, uh, uh, by the way, people's feedback on the Stolen Valor thing or this song, where the heck do y'all think? I, my personal belief when it comes to the liberties outlined in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, and it sounds like y'all lean the same way, sounds like it's not, I'm, I'm having to play devil's advocate for a position I don't agree with, um, <laughs> is that these rights only exist so much as we extend them to the I personally think people who are doing that is wrong, you know, uh, but, you know, we try, right to do it, yeah, well, yeah, if we try and legislate morality, you know, I'm trying to think of all the things I do that there's probably millions of people that think are wrong. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, it, it, like, and if you're honest, look in the mirror and think, is there anybody in this world who wouldn't like me doing this? Oh, shit. I think, <laughs> it's like, I think every person, uh, when you look at any person, there's a million people who think everything they do Yes, but they but most people aren't that honest with themselves. They think they're they're right, and everybody else knows they're right. Exactly, but, but I don't think government should be regulated on that fact, and I, neither do I think you guys. 